Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We are taking up uh, the last lecture on the neoplasia. So this is about the staging and grading of the tumors and anti-tumor mechanism. So introduction, stage and grade methods are to quantify the aggressiveness of neoplasms and determine the prognosis, compare treatment outcome of various protocols. Staging reflects the clinical extent of the tumor, whereas the grading of any tumor reflects its histological subtype, level of differentiation, number of mitosis, or architectural features. Another style to describe the things, grading amount of differentiation, the level of functional maturity of the cell. Estimate the rate of growth based on the mitotic rate staging. It is used to classify solid tumors, refer to relative size of the tumor and extent of disease. TNM classification system is a system of staging. The stage of a cancer describes the size of a tumor and how far it has spread from where it originated. Stage 0 is carcinoma in situ early form. Stage 1 is the localized form. Stage 2 is early locally advanced. Stage 3 late locally advanced. And stage 4 metastasized. The grade describes the appearance of the cancer cells. If you are diagnosed with a cancer, you have many more tests to help determine how far it has progressed. Classification of tumor grade. The grading system differs depend upon the type of cancer. The generalized one is used is GX. Grade cannot be assessed undetermined grade. G1. Well differentiated, low grade, grows slowly. G2, moderately differentiated, intermediate grade. G3, poorly differentiated, high grade, grows rapidly. G4, undifferentiated, high grade. Another way to describe stage is TNM, pathological stage. T stands for primary tumor. Tx for primary tumor cannot be evaluated. T0, no evidence of primary tumor. Tissue, carcinoma in situ. TIS, carcinoma in situ, has not spread. T1, T2, T3, T4, size and extent of the primary tumor. And another heading is regional lymph nodes, N. NX, regional lymph nodes cannot be evaluated. N0, no regional lymph node involvement. N1, N2, N3, involvement of regional lymph nodes, number or extent spread. Number or extent of spread. N1, N2, N3, involvement of regional lymph nodes, number and extent of spread. Distance metastasis denoted by M. Mx, distant metastasis cannot be evaluated. M0, no distant metastasis. M1, distant metastasis. Cancer has spread to the distant part of the body. Another system of staging is based on the AG, AJCC. Stage 0 is carcinoma in situ. Higher number of higher number indicate more extensive disease. Stage 1, larger tumor size or spread to of cancer or spread of cancer beyond the organ. Beyond. Stage 1, larger tumor size or spread of cancer beyond. Stage 2, the organ 
in which it first developed to nearby lymph node. Stage 3 nodes or tissues or organ adjacent to the location of primary tumor. Stage 4 the cancer has spread to distant tissues or organs. Now the host defense against the tumors, tumor antigens. They are the cancer testes antigen, tissue specific antigens resulting from mutational change in the proteins, overexpressed antigens, viral antigens, other mutation, mu1 antigen, oncofetal antigen, differential specific antigen, CD10 or PSC, prostatic specific antigen. These serves as a diagnostic marker for type of cell involved in transformation. How the cells in the body are involved to play anti-tumor immunity and some cytokines that modulate anti-tumor activities. In the center, a tumor cell is shown interleukin 1, 2 and 15 activates the cytotoxic T lymphocytes on the left side and NK cells. NK cell has got receptors for interleukins 2, 12 and 15. After being activated, so they get attached to the tumor cells which have stress proteins displayed on its surface and NK cell become attached to the stress proteins. And the receptor which the NK cell have for this attachment is NKG2D receptor. And then NK cell also liberate various uh, secretions which can just at, uh, get attack on the tumor cell. So, and the macrophage is shown in lower panel on the right side. They are being activated by the gamma interferon. <coughs> they have got FC receptor, uh, and the same receptor are also on the NK cells. Tumor cell express antigens. And these, to these are formed antibodies, IgG, and they become attached to the receptor on the NK cells. And then on the left upper panel, cytotoxic lymphocyte is shown, which express receptor for attachment of the peptide expressed by the tumor cells. And the M HC class 1 molecules receptors are expressed by the tumor cells and through the peptide they become attached to the T cell receptor. In this way you can just appreciate a tumor cell is surrounded by R side on the cytotoxic T lymphocytes, NK cells, <coughs> macrophages and NK cells and the lower panel also and the above panels. So it's from all side it's being attacked by the host defense and they ultimately destroy or get rid of the tumor cells. Anti-tumor effective effectors mechanisms are cell mediated immunity and humoral immunity. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes, Epstein bar, EBV induced Burkitt's lymphoma. HPV induced tumors. So, cytotoxic T lymphocytes play a role in that. NK cells are the lymphocytes that destroy tumor cells without prior sensitization and are the first line of defense against tumors. NK cells are the lymphocytes that destroy the tumor cells without prior sensitization and are the first line of defense against the tumors. Macrophages elaborate into gamma interferon, which is a cytokine, secreted by the macrophages elaborate gamma interferon, 
cytokine are also secreted by the T cells and NK cells. It is an important activator of the macrophages. Generation of reactive oxygen metabolites or secretion of tumor necrosis factor. Hemoral mechanisms are complement activation. Number two, induction of antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity by the NK cells. So, all these are anti tumor effector mechanisms present in our body against the tumors. So, that's all, and we hereby finish our neoplasia. Best of luck.